this demo we are looking at 10 songs that feature a cocked wire type tone to showcase some of the possibilities with this. The Jam Pedal Seagull. Now you may have already seen this, the standard white colourway, but they've just released a Black Desert custom artwork version limited to just 10 pedals. Look at that! In fact, I'm keeping this one, so there's already only nine left. If by the time you're watching this demo, these have all sold out, then don't worry, the settings that we've got in this video are still relevant for this one. Now, cool graphics aside, this is a really unique pedal. It's got two modes. You've got Coctoire over this side, and switch it over that side, you go into Seagull mode. Now, Seagull mode is amazing, not least if you're in a Pink Floyd tribute band, and it basically allows you to make crazy sounds like this. Or like this. Or like this. Well, the controls are very, very simple. We've got our mode here, and this side allows you to choose between three different sweep ranges. At the top, we've got level, and this allows you to finely tune the frequency that you want to dial in. And the foot switch can do traditional off or on, but if you press and hold it, you can momentarily add a little bit of coctoir flavor to your tone. So let's dive in and check out some riffs. In terms of signal chain for this one, I've got um, just a little bit of dirt and a little bit of reverb. That's it at the moment though. Uh, this is just the um, seagull. <laughs> Now if we add the dirt in which comes after the pedal. A little bit of reverb. And we've got our tone, right? Now with everything in the middle, I've dialed back the gain a bit. We've got the third sweep position. So cleanish, it's... Can't guess what I'm going to play next, can you? That is a lot of fun. I know I'm not playing it bang on, but it's an approximation. But I think the tone's there, right? That's cool, isn't it? And without it... with it. One thing I've noticed with this in certain positions as well is that it's got a really cool, almost like, uh, like when you're hammering the keys on like a, an organ or something. It gives you that sort of flavour, right? Which is lovely very very musical let me just run through the three frequency ranges right this is sweep uh, mode number one i'm just going to turn the knob clockwise right sweep frequency two sweep frequency three So you can have a fair amount of range, right? And if you tweak around with the dirt and obviously fine tuning and the different sweep settings, you know, you can really dial in uh, the, the exact point that you want, which is cool. I think this one's quite cool for Ziggy Stardust. <laughs> It's really honky, is it? Superb for lead stuff too. Oh, 
So let's try three settings and see how they sound differently with gain and without, right? So setting, uh, well, a sweep position one. I'm not going to touch the fine tuning bit. We have. Second sweep position. Third sweep position. That's the one, isn't it? I love that one for uh, No Way by Pearl Jam. And then if we add some distortion. Now, if we go back to middle position, I've changed the filter ever so slightly. Um, it's got a really nice sort of honky wah tone in Do the Evolution. <laughs> Next up, we're looking at uh, Queens of the Stone Age tune called uh, You Think I Ain't Worth a Dollar, But I Feel Like a Millionaire. The beginning of that has a really cool effect, and you can achieve that if you turn the level down on the uh, seagull, because the intro has got that really lo-fi kind of... <laughs> And if you turn it off, so you can use it as a little utility pedal too, right? I also like it for the outro solo in another Queens of the Stone Age tune called Infinity. So I think the backing is playing something like. And if we add the seagull into the mix, we get this. this for solo stuff is great now we've got to chuck in a, a Michael Schenker riff I can barely play it but this is the uh, setup I've gone for he was an avid user of uh, cocktail tones <laughs> You got that sort of stuff going on, haven't you? Let me try and play it. Something like that, right? Now at the other end of the gain spectrum, but um, with these settings on the uh, the seagull, cardigans, my favourite game. <laughs> Just a very little amount of gain, right? Without it. We've got that with the gain. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'm going to play you out with a bit of Always on the Run. See you soon.